Dozens of flowers and stuffed animals line this fence here in Bullhead City as the town is mourning the loss of five children who died in a fire at this duplex over the weekend. We're still coming out the backside. Bullhead City is a relatively small and close knit community. The same can be said about the neighborhood Anna Circle that sits next to the Colorado River. Tight knit. Everybody looks out for each other. Those of us with kids look out for all the other kids in the neighborhood. This past Saturday, neighbors rushed when they saw this home had caught fire. When we came around the corner, we saw the smoke coming up, so we knew it was right here. About a dozen men grabbed hoses, broke windows, trying to get into the home. We pulled the garage door open. There was guys pulling stuff out. The closer we got to the door, the smoke started coming into the garage and choking people out. Neighbors tell me they knew children lived there, but they didn't know if they were home. We were screaming at the top of our lungs. You didn't hear nothing. You didn't see nothing. There's many guys out here that would have did, would have went into that fire if we had known there was children. Sadly, five children between the ages of two and 13 died in the fire. All children were related. Four of them were siblings. The other was a relative who was visiting. Couldn't see him trying to get out. Nothing. It's horrible when something like this happens. Bullhead City Police say there were no adults home at the time when the fire started. Detectives are now working with ATF fire investigators to figure out what happened. As for the neighbors, they're still shaken up, but say they're appreciative for those who stepped up. We did everything we could. And thank you to everybody that did try to help. There is a GoFundMe set up for the families that were impacted by this fire, and we'll have a link to that on our website, azfamily.com. Reporting in Bullhead City, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.